Uh, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will talk about the creation of customer in the QuickBook. As you know, of course, uh, if if we want to deal with the customer, we want to sell, we want to charge them bill and so on. First of all, those customers should be available in the system. Uh, but remember one thing that in this case, when we want to register the customers in detail, uh, these customers are account customers. Which customers? Account customers. It means uh, those customers who usually purchase us on credit basis from us. And they are purchasing continuously. But if the customer purchase one type of product, one upon a time, once upon a time, uh, we may not provide detailed information for registration of the customers. So all of those customers might be registered as cash customers uh, only. Later on, we will discuss it. <coughs> but first of all, we have to see <coughs> how to create customer in the QuickBook. As we discussed uh, in the initial video, the home page is divided into uh, five parts. Cus vendor section, customer section, employee section, company section, and the banking section. I have discussed some part of this one as a company, as in the chart of account item and so on, right? Now the next part is regarding the QuickBook, regarding the customer. So either you can click here to go for the customer center, create customer, or otherwise the good option is basically there is a menu for the customer and everything, every, in every type of transactions can be uh, registered through this menu for the customer. But the initial case is we have to register the customer. First of all, the customer should be available or registered in the system. Go in the customer center, collect, go on the customer menu, click on customer center. Or otherwise, so control J is the shortcut for this one. Anywhere in the QuickBook, press control J. When you press control J, so it opens this window, right? Or otherwise, you can open from here as well. It is the same. See, you can open. When you open here, basically, <clears throat> it shows that for example customer and job it said there is no customer and no job why because we have created our company recently so it's still no customer is registered with this one right so we have to create our customer so here it shows if lists of the customers are available name of the customers balance of the customers if there's attachment everything will be and rest of the information regarding customers will be available here, right but in the second case, it shows their transaction, whether we made a submission for them, we made, a, made sales order, how many invoices we have for this customer, and so on. You select a particular customer, in this case, it shows the rest of the transaction for that customer. But as in this case, we don't have any customer, definitely there is no transaction as well, so we have to create the customer for the first time in the QuickBook. <coughs> for this purpose, go upper part, see it is mentioned, new customer and job. It has three parts. New customer. You can create one customer upon a time. Add job. You can create one job. But remember, you cannot create job unless you can create what customer. First of all, customer should be created. Then you can create several job for the customer. And the last one is add multiple jobs and customer. In the same time, you can create, for example, thousands and millions. Uh, even millions may not be feasible. Thousand customers at the same time you can create in the QuickBook, right? But as we are the new users, so we have to create only one customer, right? Then provide information regarding customer here. First of all, customer name. For example, Batar Musal, Khaliq Khan Batar Musal. Khaliq Khan is our customer. Regarding opening balance, if already there is a balance for this customer, please provide that one. But I'm not suggesting you to provide information in this way. Why? Because later on, if the auditors ask, for example, from where did you mention, did you receive this balance? So, on that case, you may not be able to provide an exact reason. So, please do not provide information regarding the opening balance, but you can open, you can provide the opening balance later on under what? Under invite. But if you want to provide information, not a big deal. Let us say a balance of 1000 is available. On which day? Suppose on the 1st of March. Okay, then there are five tabs regarding the customer address information, payment information, sales tax setting, additional information, and job information. Right? Good. First one is the address information. Mention, for example, suppose if Khalik Khan belongs to a particular company. For example, yes, let us say, for example, Khalik Khan 
as belong to Khalikhan uh, Limited, for example, right? Mention Khalikhan Limited. Here, Mr. Mustar and so on mention or fill out this one properly. Yeah. I mentioned, for example, uh, Mr. Mention the first name, for example, Khalik. Khalik. Khan, for example, mention also, for example, Shinwari, for example. Khalik Khan Shinwari is our customer. And the job title, for example, for example, means the position of this one. Suppose he is the, uh, we can say, head of department, for example. Head of department, right? Khalik Khan Shinwari, suppose head of department. Mention rest of the information. Main phone, for example, work phone, mobile, and so on. Let us say, for example, this is the mobile number of him. 93 for example so on suppose this is the mobile number of him email number and so on if it is available mention so rest of the information which are needed you can mention it will mention others in others even you can mention facebook as well right for for example facebook of Shinwa, shinwari mention the fax number and so on this is to be provided right and the lower part there are two more information address details Invoice or bill to where we should send or where we can send the bill and ship to where we should send the goods, right? So customer may have two places one place for the warehouse which they store the good and one place uh, For receiving the bill, which may have a particular uh, Office it might be for example in Sharanau and this one for example might be for example in Taimani, right? So where they store the goods and where they receive the bills if address is the same, so you can copy this one once again to this one. So it will appear here as well. Otherwise, if address and this one is not the same, so you can add shipping. For example, ship to. You can mention, for example, this is, uh, let us say some, for example, Poli Cherhi with our Musal, right? Poli Cherhi belong to, for example, Kabul. And CT also, for example, Kabul, and so on. Region, for example, Afghanistan. Rest of the things you can provide as the information. So this will appear here. Bill should go to this address, and this one should go to this address. If you want to edit, if you want to delete this address, you can do it. Now you have two shipping. Shipping one, the same location, and shipping two, this one, right? So which one should be default? Make this one as a default, for example. Policharhi usually should be considered as a default. This one can be regarding address information. Payment information just give a particular account number. This is not the bank account number, it is just a, the account, like we can say account code, right? If you remember, give for example, start with 2000. Let us say we want to start with 2000, then the next customer 2001, 32, and so on, right? So all of them should appear in a proper. Next one is the payment term. Payment term basically talks about this one. Uh, that <clears throat> you studied this thing from accounting. For example, this is one of the payment terms. Net 30, see, one percentage, 10 net 30. It means the customer should pay within 30 days. If the customer pay within 10 days, they get a discount of how many percentage? One percentage, right? So this is the, these are the terms that already appear here. But if you think that, for example, this is not feasible for you, so you can create your own terms, but I will discuss it later on in the next video, how to create your own, for example, term, right? For example, even if it is simple, now we can do it. Create on the new, there are two options. One option is the standard one, which we have shown, shown you right now. And the next one is the driving, dead driving. It depends on you. You can make some changes there. For example, net due, net due is within, for example, 60 days. Customer should pay within how many days? 60 days. Why, first of all, first question, why we make this one? For example, we need some other terminology. Uh, why we make it? Because the, the credit term which we need is not available here. If it is not available, you can make your own. For example, the first thing, uh, suppose customer should pay within 60 days. Discount percentage, they will receive 5% discount. Discount if paid within, suppose if they paid within how many days? Within 15 days. If they paid within 15 days, they get a discount of how many percentage? This much. So you can mention the term here, right? So mention like the previous one, 5% 15 uh, net, how many? Net 60, right? You can save it. 
save this one now it is available for you like the previous one you made your own by the way right so two percentage ten this one otherwise you can mention your own but if you think that for example a standard is not good you can go for which one for day driving this is a little bit complicated and most of the business do not use but as it appear here so i have to explain it right day driving so net due before the 31st day of the month this is for 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 monthly basis so the customer should pay within this date of the month net due before before for example this is 31st let us take 25 net due before 25th day of the month it means before 25th of the month the customer should pay for it right net okay due the next month if issued within five days of the due for example what do you mean by this one it is already mentioned five but you can take any day see some point if the customer the customer should pay within 25 day of the month but sometimes the customer may purchase on 20 20th of the month right so there is only five day if you collect the cash from this customer within this four or five days the customer definitely will get dissatisfied so it means if the customer purchased recently they should not pay in this month they should pay within 25th of the next month did you get my point see once again need due before 25th of the month but due the next month if issued within 5th of the due date if it is mentioned for example on 24 on 23 on 22 on 21 or 20 well, so gap is very short so if this is so the customer should pay on the next month right five days of the month discount percentage discount percentages for example two percentage discount if paid before 10 days of of the month so discount for example if customer paid before 15 days of the month so they will get a 15 percentage two percentage discount right so now save this one also you can mention for example uh we can say a specific a specific discount so yeah you just you can give any name for this one so this one will appear for your customer but this one is not a common one so i have to take my own next one is regarding this one preferred delivery method preferred delivery method it doesn't mean the delivery of the goods it is just the delivery of information how we deliver whether you deliver through email or whether you deliver through mail if you email finally after each transaction you have to email for the customer the invoice and the rest of the thing if you mention none so you should not do anything but if you select mail then you have to for example post the goods through the uh, the documents through the post office next one is preferred payment method how the customer usually pay for you they pay on cash basis they pay on check basis and so on let us assume that the customer usually pays on on check basis credit card information if the customer pay through credit card you can mention the credit card information of the customer as well right this point which appear here is credit limit credit limit means for example out up to how much you can trust on this customer let us say for example up to 40,000 or oh, let us make it one lakh up to one lakh we can trust on the customer if the your transaction increase amount of one lakh on that case quickbook give you a warning that so you have selected a limit of one lakh but now it is more than that so please so be careful although you can make the transaction but there's a warning it reminds you that you please do not sell more than that right that's it next one is price level price level means if you sell for different price for different customer for some customer you may charge more for some customer you may charge less for that purpose you have to go for what price level there is no price level so you have to make your price level price level can be made in two ways price level can be made fixed or it can be what per unit first of all let's go for fixed for fixed means for example in this case two types of fixed we have price level will be increased or price level will be decreased for example for this group of customer you usually give a kinds of discount or you charge lesser than others you charge lesser than others for this customer for example how much less we charge for example 10 percentage less as compared to other other customers so you can just name it for example 10 percentage or 10 percentage lower right lower so anytime later on if you sell anything for the collection worry so it will be counted 10 percentage less as compared to other other customers 
that is why. Second one, for example, no. For example, for the other customers, we want to charge higher, for example, right? You can also do this one as well. Higher, right? Fix once again. Again, in this time, do not increase, for example, a decrease, but just increase. How many percentage increase? For example, suppose for this customer, we charge 10% more. This is round off, right? So you can charge this. So now we have two customers, for example. So whether you select this one for a Khalakhan or whether you select this one for a Khalakhan, so that's what that one will appear later. Or otherwise, one more option is there. For example, instead of fixed, you can go per item. Then select each item individually. For example, usually Khalakhan purchase battery, keyboard, and what? And motherboard. For the other, how much we charge? This is the cost. This is the standard price. For example, for the others, we charge for each battery for 30. But for Khalikhan, we should charge, for example, 35. For the others, we sell keyboard for 15. But for Khan, we should charge how much? 12. For the others, we charge a motherboard for 70. For Khalikhan, he's a good man. Let us charge, for example, how much? 60 on. Right? Or if you don't want to do it individually, you can do it from here as well. Suppose Khalikhan purchased all of the above products. If Khalikhan purchased all of the above products, then adjust all of them one not one by one just adjust all of them by one click adjust price of the mark items to be or otherwise you can select only one of them and more so select this part battery this one and this one right so three items are marked only so now let me see there will be a change in this one so increase the price of this one or decrease the price of this one but you can apply only one of them but as i said before manually manually some of them can be more some of them can be less. If you go through this option, so in this case, either you can increase or either you can decrease. So let us say, for example, increase 10 percentage as compared to other. 10 percentage increase than what? Standard price or cost? No, 10 percentage increase than standard price. Then I just said, see, 30, 33, 15, and 16.5, 20, 27. Or otherwise, for example, you just cancel this one. And you just increase or decrease any of them one by one. Or for example, if you want to decrease, right? Adjust this one. So 10 percentage lesser than other, right? In this way, you can adjust. But you please give a name for this one. For example, fixed. Not fixed. This is per, per item. Per item, right? So for Khalikhan. It depends. So anyone which you select. I'm saying that please charge lower, 10 percentage lower for Khalikhan as compared to other. This was regarding the payment and payment. Right. Next one is regarding the tax information, whether he is paying tax or not. Yes, he is paying tax, taxable. Usually, which type of sales tax he pay? He pay sales tax of 10% or so on, depends on this one. And what is resale number? A resale number, any customer who provides a resale number, the company does not charge sales tax on this one. And when we do not charge sales tax and we need a sales resale number see for example the person who purchased from you may not be directly the consumer they may purchase from you and they may sell it back in the market so if you charge sales tax on him and he charge sales tax on the customer there is a double taxation so please be careful if the person who purchased good from you and he is not the end user or not the final user please do not charge sales tax on him so instead of that ask him that whether he has a proper license or re sell number or not in united states when you act as a retailer or reseller they provide you a resale number when you submit it to the wholesaler wholesaler will not charge you any sales tax why because you're not using for yourself you're selling in the market so that number should be taken from the customer and provide here and after that do not charge any sales tax on the customer next one is additional information 